Heroic public events within Destiny 2 have always been the fastest way to get XP in the game, and with recent changes in Destiny 2, they're also the fastest way to get Glimmer if you're short on Glimmer. If you're a new player, and maybe you're not clear on how to get these heroic, in this video I will quickly go over the various public events that are within the game and how to make them heroic. When you do the Walker public event, to make it heroic, you'll notice that there are three areas near the walker that are shielded that have Scorch Cannons in them. If you shoot the legs of the walker in Baseline's crit spot, the first time three balls will drop. Take those balls, put them in into each of the things that are shielding the Scorch Cannons. Once you're done with this, shoot them again. Again, don't kill them. Take the next three, do that. Once you have all six done, it triggers heroic, a second walker comes in, and that's how you get your extra loot. If you're trying to make the Glimmer Extraction public event heroic, this is really simple. You know that for Glimmer Extraction, you basically go to three different areas. On each of those areas, you'll see a little thing that's basically taking Glimmer and sending it up to the ship. It's a little thing on the ground. You need to kill one of those at each area. When you do that all three, the event will trigger heroic. The Heroic Vex Construct event. So for this one, what you're gonna to wanna to do is, when you go into the area, you'll notice, obviously you have the area where the Vex can sacrifice, and there are three, if you see there's like strings that are going out from them in three different directions, there are zones that will show up that are invisible until you stand on them. Basically stand on those zones until they're complete. Once they're complete, you have to do all three. That'll trigger the Heroic. The Taken Blight Heroic, this is one I think is confusing for a lot of people. So for the Taken Blight Heroic, what you have to do is you have to go stand in one of the Blights so you get this buff for four seconds that allows you to shoot the middle blight. Go in, shoot the middle blight. When that buff goes away, go back in, get your four seconds and keep shooting it. And you may have to do this a couple times around before it turns heroic. I would say probably the easiest way to do it, especially if you're solo, is just buy Warcliffe Coil. Every time if I do that, if I use all of the shots from Warcliffe Coil, I'll make it heroic every time. The Injection Rig Public Event. For this one to make it heroic, you'll notice as you go in, obviously you have the shield that if you're inside of it will burn you. The other thing you'll notice during that time is that there are three areas in the ejection rig that glow. There's one at the top, there's one in the middle, there's one at the bottom. You basically have to shoot and get rid of all those. So recommendation is you just need to go in there, make sure you have some healing on, and just use things that'll take it off quickly. Once you do that, you still have to go through the several bosses, but once you finish up with those bosses, it will go heroic. To make the Cabal Excavation public event heroic is fairly, fairly simple. Obviously with this event, you stay in the circle, you let the counter come down. As the counter gets above 30%, around I think 32, 33, something like that, you'll notice that a ship shows up in the back area of the map. What you wanna do is take that ship down. Now, if you can't get it from further away, you can wait for it to come around. Once you take that ship down, the event will come heroic, a larger boss will spawn, and then that's how you get your loot. To make the Warsat public event heroic, you have to do a couple things. First off, you have to start it by going and scanning the Warsat. Second, every 25%, you have to kill two witches, and then once you do that, a Shrieker will show up, and you'll take the Shrieker out. Do that three times, so that's 25, 50, 75%. At that point, it becomes heroic. The Witch's Ritual public event, the way you make that heroic, is you'll notice as you're doing the event, there are two plates, one on the right side, one on the left side. Have yourself, you can do this solo, but otherwise have one person stand on one and the other. Once you stand there for a little bit, you'll see crystals. There'll be crystals that show up. Their shields will drop. Take the, take the crystals out on both sides, on right and left, and then that's what makes it heroic. The either ritual public event, to make this heroic, what you're going to need to do is you'll have a wave of ads that come through. Every wave of ads, you'll see a chieftain shows up. Shoot the chieftain. When that happens, you'll see a bunch of orbs that will generate from one side of the arena that will try to go into a container on the other. Shoot all of those orbs before they can do that. This is really useful if you do it with a full fire team or a lot of people being in that zone. Do that three times and that makes the event heroic. For the either resupply heroic public event, what you're gonna to need to do is that you'll notice that there is a servitor there in the middle. You take some damage to him and then three mini servitors over time will show up. Shoot all three mini servitors in a timely manner That'll make it heroic. Next is the Resonance Splinter event. This is an event that was new with Witch Queen that occurs on Savathun's Throne World. One of the things you'll notice is that as you're going through, there'll be a series of yellow bars and not every yellow bar does this. For the yellow bars, sometimes they will drop a little orb, pick up those orbs and throw them at the ship that you're on. If you do that enough times, it triggers it to be heroic. The Crux event is an event that happens on Europa and what you'll notice with this one is that you will have a series of brigs that will drop down 
and you'll also have a series of drop pods that'll drop down. In each of those drop pod areas, you'll notice that there's some little small robots that are floating around the drop pod areas. You're gonna wanna kill all of those. There's a total of three areas of drop pods that'll happen in different locations. The key is to do that, to stay alive, but also don't kill the brigs that are in the middle because that's how you normally complete the encounter. What you do is kill those, do it three times, then a giant super brig will drop down, kill that brig and all the other brigs, and it, then you'll finish the heroic public event. For the Rift Generator event, this is one that is unique to the Dreaming City. And for this event, you notice a Rift Generator area and then three gates that are in the middle, left and right of where you come in. What you'll need to do is you'll need to go out at the very beginning, once this starts, go out, kill some Scorn, and there'll be a larger Scorn that will drop a ball. Take that ball, put it into Rift Generator. That'll start the event. Once you do that, you will continue to kill Scorn. Every time you kill a large one, they'll drop a ball and you can put that back into the Rift Generator. The reason you're gonna wanna do that is because as the enemies are coming in and shooting the Rift Generator, they'll knock the protection down from 100 to zero. Every time you put a ball in, it extends the encounter. When you do this on each of the four or three areas, the right, middle, and left, you'll notice that a Taken Blight will show up and you'll shoot that. When you shoot that, you'll notice that it goes down through the floor. Once you finish that in that area, that area is finished. So again, do that with that, that Blight on the right, middle, and left. When that's complete, you go back to the middle and you'll notice that there are witches that show up. Shoot the witches and you'll be, you'll be kind of be warped into the Taken area. Everything will get dark and that's when the Heroic Public event begins. Kill everything and that's the Public Heroic event. Again, a little more complicated than some of the others, and this one may require a fire team to finish. Well, that's the video, guys. Hopefully that was helpful. If you're new to the game, again, public events, special heroic ones are the fastest way to get glimmer and XP other than AFK farming and things like that. So this is the quickest way while you're in the game to get yourself leveled up. And if you're short on glimmer, to do that as well. If you like the video, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, jump my Discord, and I'll see you, Guardians of the Tower.